All right, can we have our first school come to the microphone? Okay, speller number one. Your word is wand. Wand. W-A-N-D. Wand. Um, so the other spellers are going to stay up and take your turn as well. Okay. All right, next speller. Your word is banana. Banana. B-A-N-A-N-A. -A -N -A. Banana. Correct. Speller, your word is rocket. Rocket, R-O-C-K-E-T, rocket. Correct. Okay, great job. <laughs> Our next school can come up to the microphone. Your word is become. B-E-C-O-M-E. -E. Correct. Your word is purse. Purse. P-U-R-S-E. Correct. All right. Our next school can come up. Your word is vault. Vault. V A U L T. Vault. Correct. Your word is trendy. Trendy. T R E N D Y. Trendy. Correct. Your word is mister. Mister. M I S T E R. Mister. Correct. Our next school can come up. Okay. Your word is, well, before I start, this word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is seller. It is a noun and it means one that offers for sale, a salesperson. Seller, S-E-L-L-E-R, seller. Correct. Your word is shipping. Shipping, S-H-I-P-P-I-N-G, shipping. Correct. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is handyman. It is a noun, and it means one who performs miscellaneous or routine tasks as about a home, public building, factory, or laboratory. Handyman, H-A-N-D-Y-M-A-N, handyman. Correct. Okay. Our next school can come up. Your word is Godspeed. G O D S P E E D. Correct. Your word is earmark. Can you repeat the word? Earmark. E A R M A R K. Correct. Your word is Barbie. Can I please have the definition? Barbecue, used chiefly in Australia. B A R B I E. Correct. Okay. Our next school can come up. Your word is amass. Can you repeat that? Amass. 
Okay, I have the definition. To collect for oneself, to gather as one's own, to accumulate. Amass, A-M-A-S-S, amass. Correct. Your word is headlong. May I ask what the definition is? Without delay or pause, in a rush. Can I ever hear a pronunciation? Headlong. Headlong. H-E-A-D-L-O-N-G. Headlong. Correct. Your word is broil. Um, can, I get, can I please get the definition? Yes. To cook by direct exposure to radiant heat, as on a grill over live coals or beneath a gas flame or electric coil. Broil. B-R-O-I-L. Broil. Correct. Your word is caramel. Do you have a repronunciation? The alternate pronunciations? Repronunciation. Oh, yes. Caramel. Caramel? Caramel. Is there an alternate pronunciation? Yes. Caramel. 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 C A R A M E L. Caramel. Correct. All right, our next school can come up. Okay. Your word is concrete. May I have the definition? A hard, strong building material made by mixing a solidifying material and a mineral aggregate, such as sand, gravel, or rock with sufficient water to cause the cement to set and bind. Concrete. C-O-N-C-R-E-T-E. -E. Concrete. Correct. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is exercise. It is a verb and it means to exert the body for the sake of developing and maintaining physical fitness. E-X-E-R-C-I-S-E. -E -E. Correct. Okay. Your word is spiteful. Can I have the definition? Having or exhibiting a desire to vex, annoy, or injure. Malignant, malicious. Can you repeat the word? Spiteful. S-P-I-T-I-F-U-L. Incorrect. Okay. Uh, can our next school come up, please? Okay. Your word is iceberg. Can I have the definition, please? A large mass of land ice broken from a glacier at the edge of a body of water that, when afloat, has only a small part above the surface and that in the ocean floats with subsurface currents often to great distances. Iceberg. I-C-E-B-E-R-G. Iceberg. Correct. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Formalize. It is a verb and it means to render something exact, methodical, or orderly, to stylize. Could you please um, give me a definition? Yes. To render something exact, methodical, or orderly, to stylize. Can you please repeat the word? Formalize. Formalize. F O R M A L I Z E. Correct. 
All right, and that is the end of round one. All right, we are gonna start round two. Can I have my first school, please? Come on up. Okay. Your word is armadillo. Armadillo. A R M A D I L L O. Armadillo. Correct. Okay. Your word is permafrost. Permafrost. P E R M A F R O S T. Permafrost. Correct. Your word is situation. Situation. S I T U A T I O N. Correct. Okay, our next school can come up. Okay, your word is applicable. A P P L I C A B L E. Correct. Your word is effortless. Effortless. E F F O R T L E S S. Correct. Our next school can come up. Okay. Your word is Disrepair. 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 D I S R E P A I R. Disrepair. Correct. Your word is combustible. Combustible. C O M B U S T A B L E. Combustible. Incorrect. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is citation. It is a noun and it means the act of quoting verbatim the spoken, written, or printed words of another. Citation. C I T A T I O N. Citation. Correct. Okay. Our next school can come up. Okay. Your word is flipperling. Could you repeat that word, please? Yes. Flipperling. Could you give me a definition? Yes. A small animal with broad, flat limbs adapted for swimming as a baby seal. Flipperling. F-L-I-P-P-E-R-L-I-N-G. Correct. Okay. Your word is advection. 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 A D V E C T I O N. Advection. Correct. Okay. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is shoot. It is a noun and it means an artificial or natural inclined plane a sloping channel or partially or completely covered passage as a trough down or through which substances or bodies as water, coal, or grain or logs may pass or slide usually to a lower level. A slide. Shoot. C-H-U-T-E. Shoot. Correct. All right, our next school can come up. Your word is abashed. A B A 
S H E D. Correct. Your word is avenue. A V E N U E. Correct. Your word is canoe. Canoe. C A N. And oh, oh. Incorrect. Okay, our next school can come up. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is mantra. It is a noun. It means a verbal spell, ritualistic incantation, or mystic formula used devotionally in popular Hinduism and Mahayana Buddhism. Can you repeat the word? Mantra. Mantra. M-O-N-T-R-A. Mantra. Not correct. Our next school can come up. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is ancho. It is a noun and it means a poblano chili pepper, especially when mature and dried to a reddish black. Can I hear repronunciation? Ancho. Can I ask for, can I use it in a sentence? The recipe calls for a teaspoon of ground ancho, but Joaquin always adds more. Can I ask for language of origin? The language of origin is from American Spanish. Ancho, A-N-C-H-O, ancho. Correct. Yes. Your word is designer. Um, can I get the definition of that? Please. One who plans and directs the fashioning of theatrical stage settings, costumes, and ballet settings. Designer. D E S I G N E R. Designer. Correct. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is scrapple, it is a noun and it means a mush containing pieces of leftover meat made by boiling cornmeal in the liquid in which bones and meats have been boiled, seasoned with condiments and herbs, poured into a mold to cool, and served sliced and fried. Can I have the language of origin? This is from Old Norse to English. Can I have a repronunciation? Scrapple. Scrapple. S C R A P P L E. Scrapple. Correct. All right, our next school can come up. Your word is furnace. May I have the definition? An apparatus for the production or application of heat, such as one designed to carry heat to all parts of a building. Can I have it in a sentence? Fortunately, the weather turned warmer the same week Ernie's furnace stopped working. Furnace. F-U-R-N-A-C-E. Furnace. Correct. Your word is elusive. I-L-L-U-S-I-V-E. -L -L -E. Not correct. All right, and may our next school come up? Okay, 
This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is clouder. Can you repeat the word? Clouder. It is a noun and it means a group of cats. Clouder. C L O W D E R. Clouder. Correct. Your word is curator. Can you please repeat the word? Curator. Can you please give me the definition? One in charge of the exhibits, research activities, and personnel of a muse museum, zoo, or other place of exhibit. Could you repeat the word one more time? Curator. Curator. C U R A T O R. Correct. All right, and that is the end of round two. Our spellers who are disqualified can move over to their join their teammates. Your word is delectable. Delectable. D E L E C T A B L E. Delectable. Correct. Your word is maverick. Maverick. M A V E R I C K. Maverick. Correct. Your word is Fipple. Uh, can you give me the definition? A grooved plug in the end of a whistle, flute, or organ pipe. Uh, can you say the word again? Fipple. Fipple. F-I-P-P-L-E. Fipple. Correct. All right, our next school can come up. Your word is immortality. I M M O R T A L I T Y. Correct. Okay, this word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is peat. It is a noun and it means a piece of turf cut for use as fuel. Can you repeat that, please? Peat. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes, ma'am. Peat, an impor important source of fuel, covers about 2% of the total global land area. P E A T. Correct. Okay, our next school can come up. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is parley. Can you repeat the word, please? Parley. Parley. P-A-R-L-E-Y, parley. Correct. Your word is lithium. Lithium. L I T H I U M. Lithium. Correct. Our next school can come up. Your word is tangerine. Tangerine, T-A-N-G-E-R-I-N-E, -E, tangerine. Correct. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is desolate. It's an adjective and it means devoid of inhabitants and visitors, deserted and abandoned. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Desolate. 
Could you use it in a sentence? The Williamsons drove through a desolate town before arriving at their destination. D E L I. Wait, no. Uh, D E. Could you repeat the word? Desolate. D E S I L A T E. Desolate. Not correct. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is phi. It is an interjection and it means used to express disgust, dislike, or the affectation of being shocked. Can you repeat the word, please? Phi. Uh, F Y E, phi. Not correct. I N D U L G E N T. Correct. Your word is freegan. Can you repeat it? Freegan. Can you use the word in a sentence? Misha believes that, oops, that's the wrong sentence, sorry. Chaz became a freegan after reading an article about the amount of fresh vegetables restaurants waste each year. F R I E G A N. Not correct. Okay, our next school can come up. The word is archetype. Can I ask for definition? The original model, form, or pattern from which something is made or develops. Archetype, A R C H I T Y P E, archetype. Not correct. The word is posterity. Posterity? Posterity. Can I get the definition of that, please? All succeeding generations, future time. Posterity. P O S T E R I T Y. Posterity. Correct. The word is gravitas. Can you repeat the word? Gravitas. Can I have the definition? High seriousness, as in a person's bearing or the treatment of a subject. Can I have the country of origin? The word is from Latin. Can I have a repronunciation? Gravitas. Is there an alternate pronunciation? Gravitas. Gravitas. G R A V I T A S. Gravitas. Correct. Okay, our next school can come up. Okay. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is affable. It is an adjective, and it means characterized by ease and friendliness. Can I have the definition? Characterized by ease and friendliness. Can you repeat the word? Affable. Affable. A P H A B L E, affable. Not correct. OK, 
Okay, our final school can come up. All right, your word is accumulate. Can I have the definition, please? To grow or increase in quantity or number. Accumulate, A, C, C, U, M, U, L, A, T, E, accumulate. Correct. Your word is tectonic. Could you please repeat the word? Tectonic. Could you use the word in a sentence? Tectonic activity generated the monster tsunami. Tectonic. T-E-C-T-O-N-I-C. Correct. All right, that is the end of round three. Okay, our first school can come up. We're starting round four. Okay. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is summoned. Summit. S-U-M-M-E-T. Summit. Not correct. The word is pantomime. Can you repeat it? Pantomime. Pantomime. P-A-N-T-A-M-I-M-E. Not correct. The word is octonocular. Uh, can you use in a sentence? When, while there are six-eyed spiders and even eyeless spiders, the tarantula is an octonocular spider. Octonocular. O-C-T-O-N-O-C-U-L-A-R. Correct. All right, come on up. The word is jalapeno. J A L A P E N O. Correct. The word is ensued. Ensued. I N S U E D. Not correct. Our next book can come up. Oh, sorry, in the wrong place. Come on up. Okay. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is a glossal. A glossal. Can you repeat the word, please? A glossal. Can I hear a definition? Having no tongue used in zoology. A glossal. A G L O S S A L A glossal. Correct. The word is gingivitis. Gingivitis. G I N G I V I T I S. Correct. All right, our next school can come up. The word is unchristened. Could you repeat the word, please? Unchristened. The definition, please? Not named, unidentified, unspecified.
Could you use it in the sentence? On her hike through the mountains, Michelle ate her lunch by an as yet unchristened stream that did not appear on her map. Unchristened, U-N-C-H-R-I-S-T-E-N-E-D. Correct. Our next school can come up. Yep. The word is brontophobia. By the definition? Abnormal fear of thunder. Brontophobia. B R O N T O P H O B I A. Correct. All right, our next school can come up. The word is prehensile. Um, is there another pronunciation of that? There is not. What is the definition? Adapted for seizing or grasping, especially by wrapping around. Prehensile. P R E H E N S I L E. Prehensile. Correct. The word is stratocracy. Okay, I have the definition. A military government, government based on an army. Okay, I have a repronunciation. Stratocracy. Okay, I have in a sentence. A small group of civilians ousted the stratocracy and set up a democratic government. Stratocracy. S T R A C O C R A S Y. Stratocracy. Not correct. Our next school can come up. The word is cellophane. Can you please repeat the word? Cellophane. Can I have the definition? A transparent sheet or tube of regenerated cellulose used chiefly as a wrapper for packaging food and merchandise. Can you repeat the word, please? Cellophane. Cellophane. C E L I P H. A N E cellophane. Not correct. The word is tenaciously. Could you please repeat the word? Tenaciously. Could you put the word in a sentence? On the first day of school, Sybil vowed to tenaciously pursue her goal of being named to her school's honor roll. Could you give a definition? In a very determined manner, persistently. Could you repeat the word one more time? Tenaciously. Tenaciously. T A N. A C H U I O U S L Y. Not correct. All right, and that is the end of round four. All right, let's begin round five. First school can come up.
The word is genealogical. Uh, can you give me the definition? Of or relating to an enum enumeration of ancestors and their descendants in the natural order of succession. Can you repeat the word, please? Genealogical. Genealogical. G E N E O L O G I C A L. Not correct. Our next school can come up. The word is declamatory. D E C L A M A T O R Y. Correct. Okay, our next school can come up. The word is thwart wise. May you repeat the word, please? Thwart wise. Can you use it in a sentence? During the ice storm, a huge tree fell thwart wise across the path to the lake. May I hear a definition? In a transverse manner, crosswise. Thwart wise. T H W A R T W I S E, thwart wise. Correct. The word is allocable. Allocable. A L I C A B L E. Allocable. Not correct. Our next school can come up. The word is pomato. Could you repeat the word, please? Pomato. Could you give me a definition? A plant chimera produced by grafting a detached, detached living portions of a plant that yields large red berries onto a plant that produces edible starchy tubers. Could you repeat the word, please? Pomato. Pomato. P O M A T O Pomato. Correct. Our next school can come up, yes. The word is Dorking. Have a definition? An English breed of large domestic fowls having five toes or the hind toe double. Could you repeat the word? Dorking. Could you use it in a sentence? The Dorking is said to have been brought to Britain by the Roman forces under Julius Caesar in the first century CE. D O R K I N G. Correct. Our next school can come up. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is cambio. 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 Can I get the definition of that? A money exchange, especially in a Latin country. Can you use it in a sentence? When she arrived in Spain, Deliana stopped by a cambio to trade her dollars for euros. 
Cambio. C A M B I O. Cambio. Correct. All right, and that is the end of round five. first speller come up. All five of them come up, please. Yep, you can line up right behind him. Your word is gavel. G-A-V-E-L. Correct. Your word is Regime. Can you uh, repeat the word, please? Regime. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Regime. 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 R E G I M E. Correct. The word is magnolia. Magnolia. M A G N O L I A. Magnolia. Correct. The word is librarian. L I B R A. R-I-A-N. Correct. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is immoral. Can I get the definition of that, please? Not ethical, contrary to conscious or law relating to principles or considerations of right and wrong action or good and bad character. Immoral, I-M-M-O-R-A-L, immoral. Another word. Yes. The word is severity. Can I get the definition of that, please? The quality or state of being strict or uncompromising in judgment, discipline, or government. Severity. S E V E R I T Y. Severity. Correct. After you finish spelling your word correctly, you can have a seat. We'll ha nope, sorry, no, we're about to start our next round. Sorry, yes, <laughs> that was a little confusing, I apologize. You're doing great. You're gonna stay here, you'll spell your word, and then when you're finished spelling, you will have a seat. If it's correct or incorrect, both ways. Regardless of if it's correct or incorrect, you will have a seat, okay? Okay, you ready? Okay. The word is projectile. P R O J E C T I L E. Correct. The word is prattled. Prattled. Oh, is there any alternate pronunciations? I have a definition. Talked or said much and idly. Prattle. P R A D D L E D. Prattle. Not correct. The word is condone. Condone. C O N D O N E. Condone. Correct. 
The word is, oops, this word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is right. It is a noun. It means a ceremonial act or action or series of acts, especially in established religious usage, in tribal custom, or occasionally in unduly formalized conduct in ordinary life. R I T E. Correct. The word is assignment. Can I get the definition of that, please? A specified amount of work or a definite task or mission prescribed by authority or undertaken as though so prescribed. Assignment. A S S I G N M E N T. Assignment. Correct. John, John, so everybody comes back up. Okay, so our, our speller who's been disqualified can have a seat with their teammates. And all the other spellers can come up in the same order and stand at the microphone. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is meager. It is an adjective and it means deficient in quantity or poor in quality, inferior, inadequate. Can you use it in a sentence? Mr. Lee was unhappy with what he viewed as a meager salary and finally worked up the courage to insist on a raise. Can you repeat the word? Meager. <clears throat> Are there any other alternate pronunciations? No. Um. E. G. M E G R E Not correct. The word is liberation. Liberation L I B E R a T I O N, liberation. Correct. The word is shrapnel. S C H R A P N E. Oh. Not correct. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is laundering. It is a verb and it means transferring illegally obtained money or investments through an outside party to conceal the true source. Is there an alternate pronunciation? 
Laundering. Laundering. L A U N D E R I N G. Laundering. Correct. Okay. And that is the end of our round. Are any disqualified spellers can have a seat with their team? Any disqualified spellers can have a seat with their team, and our remaining spellers can come to the microphone. The word is audacity. Audacity. A U D A C I T Y. Audacity. Correct. The word is compliance. Can I get the definition of that, please? Conformity in fulfilling formal or official requirements. Compliance. C O M P L I A N C E. Correct. All right. Both spellers can come back up. Come on up. <laughs> this word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is. Remnants. Could you repeat the word, please? Remnants. Remnants. R E M N E N C E. Remnants. Not correct. Okay. The word is appendix. Can I get the definition of that, please? Matter added to a book, but not essential to its completeness, as a bibliography or a series of tables usually following the text. Can I get that definition again, please? Matter added to a book, but not essential to its completeness, as a bibliography or a series of tables usually following the text. Is there alternate pronunciations? No. Can I get a repronunciation, please? Appendix. <sighs> Appendix. A P P E N D I X. Appendix. Correct. Right. So we will have our speller. Our, our one speller remaining is going to come back up for his final championship word, and our other friend can stay there just for a moment. Come on up. Okay, the championship word is designate. Can I get the definition of that, please? To decide upon, to nominate, delegate, appoint. Designate. D E S I G N A T E. Designate. Correct. Last but certainly not least, let's give a huge round of applause to the speller who will represent Charles County Public Schools at the National Spelling Bee, our 2024 Charles County Spelling Bee champion, Aiden Cabos from Milton Summers Middle School. <laughs> 